Hello YouTubers, welcome back as promised. We are up here in Wales. Where do I start? Yesterday was most probably one of the worst journeys we have ever had up here. Normally we make it in about three and a half hours, four hours worst case scenario. Yesterday on the motorway, lost power, pulled over and we had a rupture in the turbo pipe. So by hook or by crook and a little bit of wire wizard's magic um, and a quick temporary fix we made it up here um, we are in the process you might hear some of the guys in the background of fitting a new wi-fi system that we're implementing up here for somebody so as usual i will pass you over to spike and you'll find out what we're doing up here no rewind it a bit and we're not going to do it that way we're going to skip first of all to the aerial footage of the guys installing the equipment then if you want to know how it's all panned out what equipment is used skip towards the end of the video with Spike. We are just quickly going to go through uh, what was happening with this site, why we are installing all of this. I will, a bit later on in the video, get the drone up so it will help understand why we were called in for this site. So, Spike, just quickly, this site is a beautiful, beautiful retreat for people. Uh, mini log cabins, shepherd's hut, but they were suffering major with slow broadband, it's stalling. Why does that happen? Oh, well, in this instance, it's because there's not enough bandwidth coming through a regular ADSL line. So can you, for briefly, I've got it in my head now after all the years that we've been doing this, so am I right in thinking... It's too much load for the bandwidth that they've got here. Absolutely. It's a little bit like having too small a pipe to water your garden. Fantastic. Okay, so, right, what equipment have we got here? Yes, again, we are down to the ubiquities. So, can you just explain what these larger units are and what is their purpose on this site. Can you pick one up? Okay. Now this here is ubiquity long range mesh Wi-Fi transmitter. It can cover an exceptional amount of area. And as you can see, it's not the smallest thing. It's designed to attach to a post which is bolted to a building. These are the general things you'd use in hotels where they might have um, an outside seating area and the PDQs want to get used or you might have some sort of terrace area and people need to sit there. This is what you'd put up Can in I a just... hotel. Again, you all know... And it's that... weather resistant, but it is a plastic body junior. Yeah. So it's quite thick. Yep. What do you reckon that is about? Yeah, it's about an inch. Yeah, yeah. About an inch. I love ubiquity stuff, always have done. But what I would say about these ubiquities, where they're being installed outside, I would like to see them bring out a range in a different colour. I know that they do the covers for these, so they, so they don't stick out like a sore thumb. When you see later on in the video, we are in the most beautiful, beautiful area. Ubiquity... Get a different cover for them so they blend into surroundings. Nobody wants pearly white stuff on the side of their building. 
Sorry, Mike, we haven't brought our microphones with us today, so if the sound quality is a bit low and you can hear the rain in the background, that's why. So you've got three of these. What's the purposes for having three? OK, well, we've got two areas of the site that's concerning. We've got the main green area, which we'll show you on the drone later, and then we've got another section of the site which is uh, under new development, and they need some Wi-Fi out there for all the traders. So am I correct in thinking, by having three of these, you're going to boing the internet... Mm, to a degree, we are going to be using air bridges and tunnels in this instance yep. because there's one area on site where we do have enough broadband and the pipe is big enough, which is the main house, which has currently got a minimum of 150 megabits per second. That should be acceptable to run this place. So we have our old faithful friend here. And do you know what? I, I was looking at these. Nano beam. Yes. They've changed these. They're shiny. I never ever remember them being as shiny, were they? No, they are a new generation. Yeah. So, and again, Ubiquiti, you do do covers on the previous generations. Let's get some covers on these um, and start blending into their surroundings because they are pearly white, aren't they? Fabulous. So how many of these have you got? We've got four of these because they work in pairs. So there's two air bridge links. So there. when Spike is saying that, um, you're, you've got the receiver here and the opposite to that is so, obviously yeah. the sender. Can we just have a quick look in the sockets of one of these, if you've got any that you can show us? So... That's the equipment that we're going to be installing today. Sorry about the mess. We are we are in an Airbnb. As in my previous video, I said that at the moment it's just gone crazy for us up in Wales. So we're just setting up the equipment um, as best we can while this rain shower passes. I am going to get out and throw the the drone up d drone up today. I do have to be careful. This site is um, a family site. Um, it's got kids on it. We are in the height of school holiday season. So I will get what I can for you. Uh, let's get this site flooded with Wi-Fi. I will, actually, that reminds me, I will put up what this site was receiving prior to us installing and after. So let's go. <laughs> 